I'm gonna start off by priming my face with the L'Oreal Magic Perfecting Base and my Sedona Lace Foundation Brush. I like using the foundation brush to apply the primer first and then I will smooth it over with my fingers. I just don't like dipping my finger in there because it gets like underneath my nails and it's gross. Then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender Revlon Color Stay Whipped Cream Makeup Foundation in the color 330 True Beige. And I know how gross this is, but I'm just going to stick it like, and then like squish it in the ear a little bit, get some love, and then bounce it on my face. Then I'm going to take my CoverGirl and Olay Simply Ageless Concealer. This is in the color Medium Dark. Then I'm going to take my Hard Candy Glamouflage Concealer and I'm going to do a little highlighting action underneath my eyes. For this, I always like to use my Sedona Lace. This is the one that's like the round top, but it's really gross right now, so don't judge me. Then I'm gonna take my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and my Elf Kabuki Brush. Taking my Chanel Bronzing Base, yada yada yada, and my Stippling Brush from Real Techniques. Then I'm going to take my Bahama Mama Bronzer and this Real Techniques Contour Brush and just get it all in there. Then I'm going to take my Real Techniques Brush, which yes, it is very dirty. Once again, don't judge, don't judge. And I'm going to blend out the contour. So I'm going to go really light on my blush. I don't want something too extreme because the focus needs to be on the eyes. So I'm going to take my NYC Cheek Glow in the color Central Park Pink. It just looks like that. Then I'm going to take my um, Sedona Lace Angled Brush and I'm just going to run that on the apples of my cheeks. Elf Eyelid Primer. Because the colors we're using, we want them to pop. I'm gonna take my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the color Milk, and I'm just gonna run that on the lids. Okay, then I'm gonna blend it out with my um, ring finger. I'm also gonna take it underneath my lower lash line, just like a really tiny bit. Take my Z palette. I'm gonna go in with this color. This is from Inglot, and then I'm going to take this eyeshadow brush from Coastal Scents and put that on your lid. I'm going to take a clean blending brush. This one's from Coastal Scents. I'm going to take um, this color right here, and it's going to be our warm-up color in the crease. I'm gonna take this um, eyeshadow brush. This is the, actually this isn't even an eyeshadow brush. It's considered the concealer brush from e.l.f. And I'm going to dip into that white shimmer shade. It's gonna be um, the highlight. And then you know me, I always like to go in and blend it out no matter what. So I'm gonna blend it out again. I'm gonna take my Jordana Fabu Liner and I'm going to line my eyes. We're gonna go with a subtle green on this look. We don't want to be like, you know, so I'm jumping into my e.l.f. I think this is a 144 piece palette thing. Anyway, so I'm going to dip into this color right here. So I'm gonna take this small angled brush and I'm taking it from the one from e.l.f. specifically because it's very stiff and it's good for lining. And um, I'm going to spray it with some of my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Make the eyeshadow stick to your eye, Kelsey. Give it a generous little swirl in it, you know. And then you're going to put this on top of the black eyeliner that's already on your eye. Then 
And now you're probably wondering, Kelsey, why do we put the white eyeliner underneath your lower lash line? It just looks so silly, right? Well, that's where the white's come, gonna come in because we're gonna stick some more green under there. Just, you know, runny brush in there real generously. If you want to open up your eyes a little bit more, take the Rimmel Scandalized Eyeliner in the color Nude and line your waterline. Okay, so now I'm going to curl my eyelashes and apply some mascara. I'm going to start off with the Falsies Mascara. This one's in the Black Drama. I'm going to take the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black Mascara. I feel like the one that's not waterproof is really like clumpy, not clumpy on the eyelashes, but like clumpy in the tube and it gets all over the wand and it's just gross, but what can you do? That's what happens when you buy the wrong one. Finally, to separate, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Telescopic Shocking Extensions Mascara. I'm going to spray my face with my Scandinavia Setting Spray. Then for lips, I'm going to take my Wet n Wild Fergie Bebop Love Lipstick. Then... I'm going to take my Revlon Color Burst Lip Gloss in the color Sun Baked. Alright y'all, so that completes the look. Hope you guys like it. Um, special shout out to Missy Star for giving me inspiration for this look because she's awesome. Okay, and um, I hope you guys have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. Don't forget to like, comment down below, subscribe, and share this video around. I'd really appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for watching, as usual. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. My lip gloss is popping. My lip gloss is cool. Other boys keep stopping. They chase me after school. My lip gloss. It's popping. It's popping. It's popping. What you know about me? What you what you know about me? What you know about me? What you what you know? I say my lip gloss is hot and my lip gloss is cute. All the boys keep stopping and they chase me at the school. Looking good, girl. Oh, thanks, girl. Ooh. Okay. <laughs>